A Moroccan mountain trek loomed heavily over us as we made our way down the Mediterranean into Tarragona. Unprepared for the hike, this small city full of Roman ruins would allow us to get some last minute training in before we make our way to Madrid where we'll catch our flight into Morocco. Good morning. Because our vicious mountain trek uh, into the Atlas Mountains is at about a week and a half away, we figured we should probably do some more hiking. So yeah. we're on our way to a uh, four, what is it, four hours round trip? Yeah. <laughs> for what we're trying to do. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, so. But hey, you're gonna start somewhere. Yeah. This right here is about three euro and um, it is going to be my lunch and my uh, breakfast. Can't get enough baked goods. Yeah, it's so nice. We just go to this supermarket and grab a bunch of stuff. It's so cheap, it's easy, and uh, good yeah. Good thing we're hiking. Found a trail. Yes. So far, so good. Um, it is hot. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's really, really warm in the sun. And the shade is not too bad right now. It's like 11 a.m. right now. Yeah. Uh, and so it's not too hot in the shade, but in the direct sun. Oof. I wonder if we can explore that thing. Ow. Ow. Thanks, bud. This is crazy. It's very safe. It's fine. It's fine. Brett likes to explore dangerous things. Shooting everything. Dora! Dora! I wonder what all this stuff used to be. I wonder, like, did this used to be like an old little town or whatever? And like behind us here is this like huge monument thing in the middle of this forest and it's like broken and like, I don't know. It is very interesting. We're stopped and uh, <clears throat> we're actually done with the hike. We only got about three kilometers in there are a number of problems. This hike was really confusing, actually. There were like a lot of different twists and turns and like... Multiple trails. Multiple trails. Poorly marked. Just, yeah. It's hot and we don't know where we're going. Yeah. So for safety reasons, we're turning around. Uh, it's just frustrating because we're getting ready for this mountain trek and mm -hmm. we're supposed to be hiking for like eight hours a day and it's like we made it three kilometers so right. six kilometers round trip and like when we were in Rosas and we were hiking you know to Keta Case you know we didn't make that trail but we at least hiked for eight hours like yeah you know, high, like 26 26 kilometers you know so it's just frustrating when we're supposed to be doing this hike in like a week and a half and yeah so we're going to sightsee until our legs are stumps hopefully and that will somewhat take the place of the hike that never happened today. Yeah. We'll get out of this deserty forest and go see some Roman ruins. Yeah. So we made it to this uh, monument. Mm. This is an old Roman ruin, I guess. At least it's very tired. Yeah. <laughs> the sun zaps our energy. Yeah, it's next level. It's I don't know crazy. How one to survive in Morocco. The way I feel and the way I'm acting right now is how bored the ticket guy was. The ticket guy was like the most bored human I've ever the heard most in my life. Enthusiastic person to be working at a ruin, <laughs> ruin monument. Yeah. Are you here for the monument? <laughs> Do you want 
one ticket, <laughs> or do you want a ticket that will let you see three other monuments as well as this one? Yeah, but he was like partially <laughs> frowning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, like made me unhappy. <laughs> Where are you from? I need it for statistics. Oh, we're from America. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. This is where they held chariot races. This is just one tiny piece of it. You can see uh, like the, it breaks off and then there's the rest of the city. But um, this used to be a massive, massive thing. It went on for like way down there. It's like jagged edges. Yeah. Okay. Whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> My horse would run into that so fast. The chariot would break. Yeah. Break through real quick. They built ramps. That was probably an old ramp. Oh yeah, I think so. The Romans were very famous for uh, for a chariot, chariot jumping. Chariot, <laughs> chariot jumps. <laughs> Inside the watchtower. Ooh. Yeah. Crossing threshold. Hey, you more! This. Ramming speed! I imagine that's what it was like back in the room. <laughs> oh! Get wrecked again. I'm right, stuck. There. Ah, it's got me. It's got me. It's got me! Lisa, help! These pigeons are busy. Oh. Can you stop it, please? Oh, wait. Oh, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing? I don't know, I couldn't help it. Take down the whole tower. I know. <laughs> We're already really high up, but uh, it's time to go even further. We continue to climb. Watch your head. Obviously, the Romans were very short. Yeah. And I'd love to see that the general public respects ancient ruins, <laughs> as per usual. Yeah, well, let's... Not there. so small. You made it. Pop fresh air. The ground is not even, like, tied down. How does that make you feel? Hmm. That... We might not make it down from here. So, if this is it, I'm glad that this is at least the last thing I'll ever see before I plunge to my death. <laughs> Agreed. Wow. This is actually awesome. With our flight to Morocco departing from Madrid in four days, we needed to keep moving. But we just couldn't pass up the opportunity for some delicious paella. So we stopped in Valencia for a couple of nights before taking a crazy long train ride into the heart of Spain. So apparently the train that we caught from Valencia, um, we have been on it since 9.50. What time is it right it's now? It's 4.30 now. It's 4.30. And so we took it all the way to the end of the line. And like we, yeah, like Brett said, we had to go just like train hopped. Yeah. And as we all got off and we helped the girl get off as well, yeah. uh, the, the train that we were just on like pulls away. And then like we had a moment where we were just like, oh shit, did we, <laughs> did we just get off the, like, the train in the wrong stop? And now we're totally no, we good. I, this I, is I, the right train. I, this, it has been a very long journey. We're making the last push now, and then we will be in Madrid. Tomorrow, we'll catch our flight to Morocco. Tonight, we're meeting up with the guy, the crazy Australian guy who invited us to go to Morocco. His name's place. Kale. Love you, Kale. Yeah. So, we'll see him soon. You know, we're just gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the train ride. Oh. Let's go to Morocco.